Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hey, good morning, good morning, Monroe. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are thou this morning? Thou is wonderful. Thou is sunny. It is a beautiful Tuesday morning. It's a beautiful Tuesday morning. You know what? <laughs> I just told the people that, you know, look, just because it's, it's a little, it's raining outside does not mean that your ass got to not let your your light shine bright today. Because don't, don't let your mood be contingent on this weather because your shit going to go up and down and be all over the place just like mine. At least, at least it ain't a thousand degrees outside. Now that is, that that's the blessing. That's the blessing. I take it any way I can get it because that shit is crazy. <laughs> that shit is I can't, believe, I, can't, I can't believe we even had that little heat spike or heat stroke or whatever you want to call that. Man, that's it. It was so it's been it's been disgustingly hot. I, I mean it make you just want to slap a bit with the standing next to you hot. That's like that's the, that's how hot it's been. Whatever you want to call that. That that I mean that's just how hot it's been. I I can't I don't know. But how how's everything with you? These are these are those mornings when you're of a heavier stature, such as myself, where the little things mean so much. Like I, I thank the Creator for giving the man knowledge to make the water run from the ground up through the house, <laughs> the shower. You know what I'm saying? He gave me the intuition to come up with that. I appreciate him so much for that. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, not everybody appreciate that type of blessing, unfortunately. Yes, indeed. That's a, that's that's an amazing one to get that war, especially when it's hot like that and you feel like you just whew. Yeah, not everybody appreciates that. Come on, y'all. Come on and make sure y'all like and share this feed this morning. Come on and tell your family your good morning, sister. good morning, Bradley. Good morning, Bradley. Good morning. Thank you for stepping on in with us this morning. Nikki unfortunately couldn't be here this morning. She had to go, you know, handle some business this morning. You know, go get them ties rotated and whatnot and carrying on and some other stuff, you know. Wait for wait for wait for Timmy to jump in. I don't know where little Timmy at this morning. I ain't seen him this morning. It don't matter. The show must go on. The show must go on. I'll go on. Hey mother, good morning this morning. How are you? Hey Mumro Mother, how you doing? It's 80 degrees already. Yeah, that, oh damn, it's, it's 7 30 in Cali. Oh, shout wow. out to the Cali love. Shout out to the Cali love. Yeah, wow, wow. We get we getting a little rain over here on the on the east coast, so we cooled off this morning. So yeah, we did the we did the Indian dance for this damn rain. It was, oh, it was, it was, it was it. pure hell, hot as hell outside. Okay. Brad, we, my, me and my balls was having a conversation the other day. We was disgusting with each other. Okay. <laughs> good morning, Paula. Good morning. Good morning. Beaches. Good morning. Beach. Good morning, honey. How you doing this morning? Beach. Beach. Not this morning. <laughs> good morning. Thank y'all for joining us. So what's, what's the first story we're going to talk about while we're going to keep it moving? Let me tell you this. It's definitely too early for this shit. Yeah, too early. So, this lady in the UK, wherever she's from, has decided that this Caucasian woman, excuse me, because I can't forget. This is when it's one. This is one of those stories where it's very pivotal that we talk about this white woman's race because she not only tried it on everybody's time, but she's definitely tried it on a lot of black women. <laughs> she created. Let me tell you this lady. She gonna get her ass whooped. <laughs> Sarah, bitch, they coming for you. She tried, she invented the bonnet, right now. This her, this is her invention. This is her invention. The, the nightcap is what she calls it. You didn't try to put a little creative spin on it and shit. And it costs ninety-eight dollars. <laughs> ninety-eight dollars. This bitch is started on all of y'all. Now we know every beauty supply is bring her in the track state area. Okay. And hey, look here, hit it for me one time. Cause this got to sound right. Hit, hit, hit it for me one time before I say what I'm getting ready to say. Beach. My grandma and them turning over in their grave with this bullshit right here. They had this shit. What in the fuck she thought? A ninety-eight dollar satin cap that's been invented that black women been with that we've been we've been telling our women for years to take that shit out for I make love to you tonight. Absolutely. What is she get the fuck out of here? So Sarah claims that she got the idea for the invention when she was planning for her wedding. She claims she was experiencing breakouts on her face. 
neck and back at the time and wanted something that would protect her hair and skin when she slept. Her website claims that the silk scarf preserved her hair and complexion. Good morning, bro. Y'all see my lip? My lip all the way over here. That is bullshit. Hey, bro. She fuck around in one of her cousin's house. Her cousin had a black friend and put that, put us, put her, her little satin cap on her head. She was like, "Ooh, that's what happened." One of the blacks that could actually afford to go to the UK went over there, and one of her good friends' cousins told her and showed her, and she was like, "Bitch, we ain't got nothing over here like that." Oh. I can make that. Girl, what's that on your head? Um, excuse me, what's that on your head? Girl, we wear this all the time. It's just to keep my hair from falling and, and keep my baby hairs pressed up against my head at night. When I wake up in the morning, my hair ain't everywhere. <laughs> it was like this. <laughs> like my skin out. Come on now. This lady has she said, she said, she said, I'm gonna make some in charge of arm and a leg for this shit. $98. The bitch is making a killing. I'm telling you, Caucasians always trying to capitalize off of something. And it's not even a try. These hoes actually do it. She is selling. Wow. She's actually making money. She was in Fashion Magazine explaining her story. That's where this picture come from. Fashion Magazine, honey. Yeah, she was in Fashion Magazine talking about it. All she did was took the same little same cap and put a little bow on Absolutely. Exactly, Bree. Exactly. Yes, in the 70s, honey. We've been, they've been, look, Black people have been doing this for the longest time. I don't know where or why she told that she created something. Don't nobody go buy one of them bullshit. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> Please, if you know what I know, I wouldn't buy one of those. Man, come on, man. That's crazy. That's, That's crazy. Let me tell you something. If you want to support some business, go support black business. Go support one of the men on the on the corner that's selling the dub soap and satin cats for four dollars each. You go down there and get him ninety eight dollars since you feeling generous enough that you want ninety eight. He gonna go. He gonna go get it out of CVS and sell it to you for five dollars. Let him get his high on for the evening if that's the case. Oh, now, in, in other, it's too early for this shit kind of news, right? What's going on? We got to still talk about Mr. Robert Kelly, okay? Oh, no. this, um, he's, it's not about him. It's not even about him, right? It's actually about his depend his uh, what is this man to him? His damn uh, oh, his crisis manager. So that's his crisis manager right there, Daryl Johnson, right? So Daryl did an interview on CBS this morning with Gail King, right? This was on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, uh, okay. This was yesterday. He had did an interview with Gail King. You know, all Robert R. Kelly's defense talking about how he's innocent until proven guilty until the evidence convicts him and all of that. Well, you know, Gail and good Gail King. Let me tell you something. Y'all can't. Anybody that surrounds themselves with Mother Oprah, bitch, is always on it, okay? Gail threw a monkey wrench at his ass because he has a 20-year-old daughter. So she asked uh. him, yeah. So, of course, when he was giving all that R. Kelly is innocent until proven guilty type shit, she said, well, what about your daughter? Would you let your daughter be left with R. Kelly? You know, this nigga answered quick, fast, and in a hurry and said, I wouldn't leave my daughter with anybody that has been accused of being a pedophile. Come on, man. Come on. That, that's it. That speak volumes right there. When your man is your crisis manager. Crisis manager. Say that. And then and didn't even think to say the politically correct thing to say. Um, oh, I don't have no problem with my daughter being around R. Kelly. She's been around him before when she was younger. You know, exactly. What I mean? exactly. You know, he said, he said, hey, I know, hey, I know. My daughter ain't going around that pedophile motherfucker. <laughs> what's up, Joe Jackson? Joe Jack, what's up, baby? Speak about the Jacksons. I'm glad you said something. Even Michael Jackson's camp was like, no, I would leave my children around Michael. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you can't not people, his, people, his people say, no, no, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> and on top of that, he repeated it. He said, I'm going to say it again. I wouldn't leave my daughter with anyone who was accused of pedophilia. Man. Then he goes on. I guess he must have caught himself and snapped back and was like, you know, R. Kelly is afraid of being convicted and he's in a bad mental state. I'm concerned about his health and his well-being. By now, I'm sure he's under, he's, um, um, by now he's under suicide watch at this point. 
Yeah. That's you know, beautiful, Bradley. That, that, that's a beautiful statement coming from your PR person. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody in that camp needs to be fired. Now, this is the one opportunity right here. Now, see, this is how you spend it in your favor. We were just talking about white people capitalizing and spending shit. You need everybody in your camp to be Caucasian at this point, R. Kelly. You yeah. need everybody in your camp to be Caucasian. I'm fighting for my life. I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> and let me tell you why. Now, this is, I saw this on um, Instagram the other day. They had a, a, a post of pictures, right? It was two blacks and a plethora of Caucasians. And all of these people in this picture were either at some point accused and or convicted of some type of sexual assault or some type of sexual, uh, uh, some type of sexual act. Now, here we got the two black people in the in it. It's R. Kelly and Bill Cosby, which are being tried and or convicted, right? right. And same picture, you got Donald Trump, Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, and a plethora of other Caucasian men right. that have been linked to sexually harassing or sexually assaulting either women, men, or children, and have not been convicted at this point in time or behind bars. Now, let me tell you something, y'all need to get, you better get you a Caucasian in your corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true too. Bradley, that is so true. Good morning, Kendra. Good morning, Kendra. Welcome. Yeah. And thank you for joining. He do. I'm telling you. He, hey, good morning, Kendra. Please like and share this feed. Please like and share. Hey, please, please. I'm telling you, it is definitely too early. This is Talk Back. We are talking back Tuesday. We would love to hear your feedback on what's going on with us this morning and, and yeah. the show that's going on because it is not only too early for this year, but it's talk back to they come on, give us what you got. Please give you know, and you know they um they're keeping him in solitary. They say he's fearful for his life because of course they're gonna kill him. I, you know, of course, that's exactly now. Listen, anybody that has been to jail or in my or in, in, in my defense have dealt with a jail type of nigga, you know that they kill, beat, batter, molest, and rape anybody that has been to jail for yeah, either key, yeah. Messing with children. Yeah, messing with children. If you go to jail for messing with children, it's it's a wrap for you. It's over. It's, it's completely done. I mean, like I don't. It, it's sad, you know that. I'm all for you know innocent until proven guilty. Let me just say that I'm all for innocent until proven guilty. However, I want a just system. If you want to try, if you want to try the blacks for you know um sexually assaulting or being the Me Too movement and all of that. Right, right, right. Let's and get everybody. Make, nobody should be exempt, especially Donald D. Trump. If you, and I don't know how this man. Mr. Has, Mr. I grabbed the pussy. You grabbing pussy. You talking about how bitches ain't your type. You ain't sexually assault or rape them because they ain't your type. So that means that you go to show that you will rape or assault a bitch if they were your type. Right. I don't get how you just, I mean, I, I'm not, I, I can't even, this is, in, in other, it's too early for this shit news. Jesse, 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 Jesse Smollett is not, and I repeat, he said he is not giving up. You know, even though he has been, you know, all his charges has been um, dropped against him. You know, they said that they was, you know, they brought a special uh, defense attorney in to reopen the trial, right? So now the lawyers want, now the lawyers are pushing for the Asundero brothers. Those are two African buff, beautiful brothers that supposedly uh, did what they did to this man, which they could do to me for free. I won't, I won't charge that problem. Um, he wants all of the, you know, stuff to be dismissed. So according to the attorney, Mark filed legal documents asking a judge to toss the Asando's brother's defamation lawsuit against him out. Here we go again. Another exactly. simple case of a white man and a black man. The white man get out free and the black man got to face trial. Absolutely. And even though he got off, they bringing it back up again. They like, oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting off that easy. It's crazy. So, yeah, so now, you know, he's and now he's trying to ask the judge to reverse the decision to appoint the special uh, prosecutor. Not only have the media and the pub, this is what the quote is, not only have the media and the public failed to critically look at the evidence and lack of evidence against Mr. Smollett, but now the prosecutor has, I mean, yeah, now the prosecutor has accepted false media reports 
to presume that Mr. Smollett is guilty of charges which he pled not guilty to and which were dismissed against him. So yeah, they, they still on it. So they're still trying to prosecute um, Jesse is what you're saying? Yeah, they are still trying to prosecute him. Okay. Still. I just don't know, can one brother slide through the cracks? Can just one, can one of them slide through the cracks? He ain't, listen, he ain't touch nobody cheering. Right. You know, he, ain't, he, he, um, he's, that's pretty much self, self-conflict. That's, that's, that's like a self-conflict. This, this, this man, like, do they prosecute, if somebody tries to commit suicide and don't uh, make it, do they prosecute them? Exactly. I know. No, 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 and and that's my thing. Like, okay, all the charges have been dismissed. They act like this man is not uh, 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 suffering the consequences. This man yeah. lost his job. Nobody's probably going to want to work with him because he did this hoax for more money. So now, you know, well, allegedly he did this hoax, for his this hoax for more money. So now he's not going to be able to get higher. You know, leave that man alone. Thank you, Bradley. Leave that man alone. Yes, yes. We got too many kids out here dying to be worried about some, some fake crime shit. We're going to prosecute. We're going to spend taxpayers' money on a fake crime and prosecute it to the fullest extent where we got to pay for the lawyers. You got to pay for the jury. You got to pay for the lights to turn the, the judge on, the microphone to turn it off. You got to pay all that stuff instead of going out here and solving something that's worthwhile solving, like trying to save these children's lives out here. These kids right. and, and the killing is, 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 is crazy in Chicago. Real crimes really growing on. But we worry about a fake, a fake um, robbery crime that we were already... It, it, Came to the fact that it's, it's fake. He already knows it's fake. Let let that shit be done. We don't let spend the money on this bullshit. Let it go. Enough is enough. And speaking of some more, it's too early for that shit. Now you know how the Dominican Republic has been snatching souls and bodies to left and right, right? And it's due to you know the alleged you know liquor tampering, right? Yes. Well, Rica now got it going on. Yes. Well, I'm telling you, they 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 targeting all the black spots. They where they know all black people vacation at Jamaica. Your ass is next. They gonna put fentanyl in the weed. Mark my words. I ain't wishing it, but I'm just saying. Mark my words. I'm telling you, you're come coming to an island near you. It's like a look, movie. Look, look here, man. We they about to they they about to start tourism. Florida about to be on fire. California about to be on fire. Everybody got a beach on the east coast with all that. All that shit about to be super on fire. It's it, crazy. I mean, it's crazy. So this is the report right here about um about Costa Rica. And I said I wanted to go to Costa Rica, but this is the report. Let me read it to you. First Dominican Republic, now Costa Rica officials are shelling out warnings about the alcoholic beverages on the island. According to Fox News, at least 19 people have passed away in Costa Rica er since early June. 19 people. Now, they ain't said shit about Costa Rica. This is July. You see how they skip over the people with the melanin in their skin like that? Mm. Okay, Costa Rican officials are convinced the cause of death is alcohol tainted with methanol. Methanol. Wow. Exactly. In a report, the Costa Rican Health Ministry says 14 men and five women ranging from age 32 to 72 have passed away after drinking allegedly tainted liquor on the island. Government officials have reportedly seized around 30,000 bottles of liquor from brands suspected of containing methanol. Although methanol is commonly found in fermented drinks, it can be very dangerous if consumed in large quantities. Dr. Sevi, with a really long name, I ain't even gonna finna try to pronounce, and associate professor at the NYU School of Medicine says that methanol is typically used in windshield wiper fluid and it's deadly. This is their quote. The problem with methanol is that it's so much more dangerous than alcohol. It can make you blind, it can damage your kidneys, and you might not even realize this at first and then you die. Wow, this, this, that's too much going on, man. But I mean, looking at this picture, I don't know if any of these brands right here I would even try to drink. That do look like some little <laughs> shit though. That's down there. <laughs> that look yeah. my, my uncle used to go to the liquor store and get for a dollar. Yeah, that's them dollars. I, I wouldn't drink that. 
Now, me as a as a recovering alcoholic, I would have probably had all of those if they were free. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't even tell you that. I'm just gonna be honest with you. If it was free, it was for me. You know what I mean? <laughs> now that was just me. You know. And then, was, and then, and then you're true. Then the thing is, you know, people go over there to those all inclusive resorts, and you don't know you don't know what those brands are when you go over to a, a, a island or somewhere like that. You think it's cool. Hey, what's up, Chad? What's going on? So, what's going on? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm telling you, the drinker that I was, I had a couple of quotes. Don't waste it. Let me taste it. <laughs> and my famous one was I only drink two types of liquor. Only two. I was a bougie drinker. I only drink two types of liquor. Cram. That's it. <laughs> Don't give me nothing else with no color on. I got to be white and brown. And Maybe. then make my drink. I only want you to put a. Oh, I want eighty nine point nine percent alcohol and a splash, just a splash, just to change the melanin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that, that sound like that sound like the bartenders that was at uh at Joe's at Joe's thing the other day uh at Joe's birthday the comedy lounge. Yeah, we got hey Joe, you gotta let us know the next time that comedy lounge come up so we can definitely promote that. That was a, that was a great night. Um, that's how they were. Me and Timmy had the drink. He was like, I said, hey, I told him Jack and Coke. He said, she ain't put no Coke in. Here. <laughs> yeah, Sam, and 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 I and I I I, I can't. Oh, basically, hey, hey girl. Hey boo, tell her I miss her. My IG is Monroe Ali. You know, y'all can always follow me on my um on Instagram at Monroe Ali P and Monroe Ali on Facebook for those that don't know. If you want to see this beautiful mug up, up in, in live and living color, you know what you can do. Yeah. But <laughs> I, I I I just really honestly um I don't know what to say in all honesty about these deaths. You know, um I don't I don't like the fact that I think for me it's a lot way more personal, you know, because people save up all year long to go to these destination places and have these beautiful experiences of what people call vacation. And, you know, they have their families all high hopes of them coming back, you know, with souvenirs and good stories of, oh, girl, you need to go. We had fun. And now you planning a funeral. Right, there, 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 it's a lot going on, and then the, the cover up, I guess, from the monetary standpoint of the tourist aspect of it, so they won't scare people from coming over there. But I mean, you playing with lies, man. This is crazy. Like, I don't, I, I, I don't wonder is it just a lunatic that was work, working in the factory that's putting stuff in the liquor, or, or, or what, what's what's really going on? Like, it, it really needs to be an investigation to it. Like, they need to allow. Americans to investigate. Yeah, but I hope they are very diligent at trying to trying to solve this shit. Because I mean, it's going from one island to the next and to the next, and no sooner than you know it, it'll be right here in the United States. So you know, I just really hope that they get that shit under wraps. Y'all make sure y'all like and share this feed and please hit the share button and to come on over here and listen to all the stuff we talk about. We talk about anything, everything, and absolutely nothing. Nothing. And, and if it's something y'all want to talk about, let us know. So we'll talk about it. We don't care. Absolutely. I will give you my biased opinion on anything. <laughs> you <don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> you my bias. But the bitch you don't like at work, I don't like the bitch either. How so about you? Know that already. Anything, I'm I'm with you. So this she, ain't watching, this. she ain't watching this show. We can't stand her motherfucking ass. Bitch, already. Hater. Bitch, put a laxative in her coffee. I'm damn <laughs> Distractor while you drop it in there, put them eye drops in there. I got your back, bitch. Yeah, right. I, I, I know they don't allow us to do it in other countries, but I'm just saying we need they need to do something. We it needs to be something done because this, this is ridiculous that our people going over there expecting to have a good time and come back home, and then, then it's it's crazy. Like, I'm going to Florida, that's it. Man. I'm going to Florida, I'm going to Maryland. Fuck that. I ain't going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going right over to PG. As soon as I see me leave here, I'm going right on over to PG County. I'm going to that shit, y'all. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm going to Mo County because they taking they they gentrifying in DC and moving these motherfuckers to the PG. I'm going to Mo County. I got to go. <laughs> Get the hell up out of here. You know, it's definitely too early for this to shit there. You got anything you want to say before you take us out? Oh man, I just want to say, man, it's it's a beautiful day. It's an amazing day to be alive. 
Um, just remember, one foot forward at a time. It doesn't matter how fast you run in the race as long as you're moving forward in the race and get to your goals. And I just want to say, take your time. Follow me as well. Follow me at the mouth underscore moments with an S on Facebook and IG. I'm always there, man. We're having a good time talking about nothing. Just, just living life, man. Just living life, man, and trying to love each other. That's it. All right. All right. Well, you know, you got to have a grandma's day. Well, happy grandma day to all the grandmamas out there. Oh, happy grandmother's day. Happy happy grandma day, grandma. Shout out to her in heaven. What's going on, girl? I know you and Jesus have been living our best lives. That's all right. My first love, my great grandmama. Rest in peace, Miss Callum Dixon. That's why I don't go anywhere. Well, they be beating Americans up for fun. They sure do. You see what they did to Future's bodyguard? That was that was in the UK. Yeah, that was that was in the UK. Shout out to Spoon, man. I hope he all right. You know, for people in the D.C. area that know Spoon, I hope he all right. You know what I'm saying? Great dog sometimes. Well, we got point. We got to get out of here. We love you too, Chef. Y'all have a wonderful day on purpose. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Pleasure meeting you Thursday too, Chef. Oh man, out. Y'all have a good one. All right. Next day, next people, we love y'all. Don't forget to share this feed, man. We'll see y'all the same time tomorrow, 10 30 a.m. Um, Big Hooven and join us today, but tomorrow evening be on the um 420 radio show. We'll talk about that some more tomorrow. But hey, we love y'all, man.